The Fat of Conspiracy, Chapter 1 Sydney, come on, we're going to miss the announcement. The giant woman with blonde curls yanked on Sydney's arm. Cindy feverishly looks to her desk again. It had to be here somewhere. I can't find my ticket, Des, she gasped. Here, let me look. Desdemona pulled Sydney out of the cubicle. Both women simply couldn't occupy the same cube at the same time. Sydney backed out and let her co-worker check her desk. The two women have been working at Coffee, C-O-F-E, for several years now, and playing the tits lottery announcements had become a ritual for them. They always bought tickets. After all, one never knew. Your desk is so impassably messy, Desdemona chided Cindy, but after just a few seconds of moving piles of documents around, she managed to produce a mislaid lotto tickets. Here it is, she held it out for Sydney to see. Cindy eyed the rearranged paperwork. Now it will take me hours to get back to where I was, she complained, but she was glad the ticket had been found. Come on, we only had 15 minutes to get outside. Who knows how long the elevator line is? The women hurried to the exit. By the time they reached the street, both were breathing hard. Now they just had to find a good place to watch the Jumbotron. Over the years, the tits lottery announcements have become more and more of a circus. The people movers were stopped until the end of the event. People poured out of the office buildings to watch the announcements together. And overall, the streets possess an atmosphere of a block party, a giant city-wide block party. Coffee workers were easy to spot. The ugly gray blouses, which they were required to wear, showed off each and every fold of fat. When Sydney had first started working there, she tried to use colorful scarves to liven up the gray, but then she got a memo reminding her of the official government policy. And besides, it was just too dumb hot to wear scarves. So Sydney stopped trying, and at some point she simply stopped noticing. After all, everyone in her office floor was more or less the same rotund size. Aside from high-ranking supervisors and guards, few people had a full government-supported weight reduction account with transdimensional industries, and even fewer had the personal funds to afford one on their own. It's starting, it's starting. Desdemona was practically giddy. She really believed that she had the winning ticket each and every time. It was kind of charming, Sydney thought. Dumb, but charming. Sydney just liked to get out and watch. There was so much hope on the city streets the days that the tits lottery winners were announced publicly, and the only thin people wore the ones on TV. A beautiful announcer from Guam, the government office of weight assistant management, smiled broadly from a huge screen, her smile as wide as a bus. She was ready to reveal the winning numbers. Sydney squeezed her fingers around the little paper stop of her lotto ticket. Her hands were wet with perspiration. They wouldn't even be able to read my ticket, she thought. It's all a mush now. And the winning numbers! A beautiful lotto announcer said a few more words. They were completely inaudible under the roar of the crowd. And then her image dissolved, replaced by a view of a giant toad of a woman. This woman looked positively psychotic, from the smile plastered on her face to the sweat running down her forehead and the eyes that shined insanely. The latter announcer's voice cut through the crowd's noise. Presenting last week's Stitz winner! Crowd changed pitch again. Sydney just nodded and watched the Jumbotron. This was her favorite part, the transformation. Each week's tits winners were taken to Transdimensional Industries Lab, placed on a pedestal and direct wired into Transdimensional Industry Tanks, the tits. The camera zoomed out so that everybody got a good look at the woman's giant stalactites of fat. Her face was still radiating insanity. Then the lights in the lab flashed and the transformation began. Slowly at first, then faster, the rolls of fat started to recede. The extra skin was sucked back into the body. It always seemed to Sydney as if there was a beautiful woman hiding underneath the cellulite and flab. A woman who was slowly revealed as the fat was siphoned away. At some point, the woman's two big closes fell to the floor and she stood there completely naked. The whole world watched her body firm up and take shape. Her muscles toned and her nipples perked up. The droopy cheeks and chin pulled back to reveal a lovely outline of her jaw and cheekbones. 
Her eyes, which had been hidden by an veil of flesh, now looked bright and interesting. The crowd gasped when a beautiful naked woman stepped off the pedestal. The lovely lotto announcer appeared off from off screen, bringing a white silk robe that she draped over the woman. But the silk couldn't hide the attractive curves of her new body. The lotto winner, as usual, was crying, and the announcer was delivering her usual breathless spiel, but Sydney stopped listening. This is what she should have looked like, she thought. Beautiful. She should have been beautiful. Sydney wiped her eyes and turned to go back to work. Might as well try to beat the elevator queue.